Hey gang, how's it going? Well, it's another gloomy and miserable looking day here in Saskatoon. So what better opportunity to go to the cinema and check out a movie? And of course, I am going to go check out the new action comedy, Keeping Up With The Joneses. We're friendly neighbors. Hi. We're the Joneses. Are always right next door. Our neighbors are spies. film kind of appeals to me. It's got director Greg Matola, and he previously directed uh, Superbad as well as Adventureland. Those are two films that I greatly admired. It's got Zach Galifianakis and Isla Fisher. They're both capable of being extremely funny in movies. Most importantly though, this film has a Gal Gadot. That's right. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Anyway, and uh, the film also stars John Hamm. If I have a crush crush on Gal Gadot, I definitely have a man crush on the ham. Mm, that's good ham. I mean, look, look at the guy. He's a good looking boy. I wouldn't kick him out of my theater seat next to me for eating popcorn. Women fall over me like over cooked spaghetti on a platter. You know what? I I need to pull the car over. I have to uh, ponder something of earth-shattering significance. Please give me a moment. Oh my God! John Ham is more attractive than Gal Gadot. Damn you, John Ham! And your attractive DNA! So, anywho, uh, yeah. I, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Uh, I think John Hamm in particular, he's very gifted at doing both drama and comedy. And if you ever have any doubts about his comedic chops, just check out his work on either SNL or 30 Rock. Or That's game. Yes, sir. That's it. I quit. This racket is a fart and you, you cheat. You're a cheating bitch. And you know what, beyond Ham, I'm really compelled to see what Gal Gadot brings to the table in a comedy. We've seen her in action films before, never really seen her sort of express herself in a funny film before, so that I'm kind of looking forward to. Obviously, we already know that Galifianakis and Fisher are capable of being funny, so yeah, I think this makes for a very interesting performance dynamic between all four of them. So, I'm gonna go off to the cinema, I'm gonna check out this bad boy, I'll be back with a review. Wonder Woman. All right, gang, I just got out of Keeping Up With The Joneses. <gasps> Hi. We're The Joneses. I gotta say, I kind of like this movie. I, I'm almost kind of embarrassed to say how much I actually enjoyed it. Oh my God. Yeah! You can't be serious. It's a comedy that's been kind of uh, widely critically panned uh, since it got released. I normally try to screen movies opening weekend, but this one kind of got away from me. And um, you know, even though it has uh, Greg Matola as director, it's got an appealing cast, I, I sort of had my misgivings because I think basically this premise, it's a bit hackney-eyed and it's sometimes done at a level of TV sitcom contrivance. But, it, you know, as a film that is generating sustained laughs, uh, keeping up with the Joneses is pretty consistently funny and it made me laugh. And I mean, that's really the ultimate litmus test by which um, I try to judge comedies, and comedies are so inherently subjective. Uh, what I personally find funny may not be what someone else uh, finds funny. HELP! Film generates a lot of comedic mileage and has a lot of fun with its premise and with all the uh, scenarios that come from that. Galifianakis and Fisher, uh, I think who are really quite well cast and are really they're kind of cute and adorable together. I think they uh, work off of one another really well in this film. They play this mousy and sort of meek-mannered uh, suburban couple that live in this sort of idealized uh, middle-upper-class upper, uh, cul-de-sac 
this, they discover that they have new neighbors in the form of John Hamm and Gal Gadot. And new neighbors aren't wasting any time moving in, are they? Ham and Gadot together, they are so ridiculously attractive <laughs> and they have such screen presence that, I mean, they're so gorgeous as human beings, you kind of want to just look away from the screen at disgust a lot of the time. It's such a lovely street. The Chinese don't even have a word for a street like this. They would say, <laughs> It sounds cool coming out of your mouth. Stop being so attractive. Mm, that's good ham. So anyway, they're new neighbors and Galifianakis and Fisher, you know, try to get to know them. But Fisher is kind of a deeply paranoid personality to start with. And she really has her misgivings about how perfect this couple seems to be. You don't think there's something off about them? They're both so overly accomplished and stylish. Well she engages in a lot of stalkery behavior, in particular with Godot's character. Lo and behold, uh, they do in fact find out that they are spies. <laughs> and they're trying to infiltrate uh, Galifianakis's uh, work environment because he works for this aerospace firm and there might be someone that works there alongside Galifianakis that is trying to sell information and technology to the wrong people. And this, of course, propels the plot forward. To the sexy and exciting world of international espionage. <laughs> Galifianakis, as an on-screen comedian, sometimes he has uh, a really sort of overbearing <laughs> uh, personality that I can s understand how some people find great. Just flip the cookie! Flip the cookie! In this film, I, I like the fact that he played a much more reserved and sort of uh, quiet-spoken character. A little different than you expected, huh? That looks like a real snake. Snake one, that's real cobra. Do you have Tab? I think he's really well paired with Fisher. Uh, I think Fisher is good at doing um, broad and subtle comedy and she's very good at physical comedy too there's a particular sequence um where she inadvertently gets drugged uh after uh her and galifianakis uh, go into the jones's house to do some uh wrong-headed recon work and uh yeah she really sort of demonstrates herself to be a really uh adept physical comedian <laughs> Honey, is that you mama wants to cuddle and then of course you have uh the ham and the Godot uh, in the film as well. Um, Godot in particular, she um, she has obvious presence in the film, but I thought that she did a very uh, assured job of sort of playing off of her obvious and overt sexuality. There's lots of comedy in the film um, where that is brought up into the forefront. In particular, one scene where uh, Fisher has been stalking Gadot's character and this kind of culminates in this really bizarre but actually quite funny sequence where they sort of meet up in the change room of a lingerie store. I was just leaving Tima voicemail. Oh, he likes to hear from me when I'm trying on lingerie. And I kind of, I, I like the, uh, the physical differences between Gadot and Fisher because she literally is towering over her. And aside from this scene's uh, sort of obvious eroticism, because you get to see Gadot and Fisher try on lingerie. Dan, Jeff, everything. It's it's really funny, and Gadot really, uh, I think, understands the type of character that she's playing. And I really like the fact that she's sort of. Uh, engaging a lot of sly and subversive comedy uh, at the expense of her beauty and her sexuality. Keeps the spark alive. And she's well paired with Ham. Ham is a uh, a very good comedic actor and he's he has he brings a really good deadpan demeanor uh, to his part. Like he never oversells a joke and he never overplays a pratfall or a gag. Here's the thing about trust. Once it's gone, bad things can happen. <laughs> He, he really just, he seems to be playing his character like he would if he was actually in a regular action film playing like a spy. I think he was, uh, he brought a lot of uh, charm and charisma and bravado and holy crap, he is a good looking dude. I'm just, I'm throwing that out there again. I mean. Well, hello. Don Draper. Let's get me out of this skirt. I gotta tell you, my man crush on Ham kind of elevated while watching this movie. Mm, that's good ham. I also
also think that the film has a uh, a sweetness about it that is really kind of infectious. I mean, there's so many comedies these days that re really rely on lowest common denominator, like bathroom humor and disgusting sight gags. But you no, know, there's a, there's a, there's a, again this inherent sweetness to the story, especially when it comes to John Hamm's character and Galifianakis, and they sort of have this. Uh, a very interesting bromance developed between the two. I think if there was some problems with Keeping Up With The Joneses, uh, yeah, there's some pacing issues. I think for every joke that lands really well, there is two or three that maybe kind of don't. I think the film's running time, it's a little self-indulgent. I think for comedies to really work, I mean, comedies work based on momentum, and I think that once this film progresses past the 90 plus minute mark, I think you're starting to clue out a little bit. Uh, the whole scenario, um, it, it's pretty formulaic and predictable. I mean, but nevertheless, yeah, I thought the film was funny. I thought it was engaging. I really liked the chemistry of all the actors. I thought Ham and Gadot were great together. I thought they worked really well off of Galifianakis and Fisher. I think uh, the two couples in particular, they're they're a very good comic foil to one another. So I don't think I could go out of my way to recommend this for theatrical consumption. I think this is a rental, but uh, yeah, it's a solid rental. It should also be noted, this film has a really nifty title card sequence. Um, I mean, granted, it only lasts like 10 or 15 seconds, but I don't think enough people talk about the really good title card sequences when they're thrown at us. And uh, this one's got a pretty cool one. I kind of like what they did. Just wanted to throw that out there. So anyway, there you go. There's my review of Keeping Up With The Joneses. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the film. Thank you very much for watching. If you could hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. If you could also hit that big red subscribe button on my channel, that would mean the world to me. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you at the movies. And if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to continue to mentally fantasize about Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. <laughs> And maybe even a little of John Ham. <clears throat> hey, Chubby, you do realize what a menu is, right? It's a list of choices. You don't have to eat the whole thing.